What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome to the final episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United Crew Mode Season 3 Episode 11. And in today's episode, we only have one match, and it is the Champions League Final against Benfica. I really can't wait to bring that to But... Um, as I usually do for the final episode of the season, I usually do a squad report and show how the other leagues shaped up around the world. So that's what I'll be going through, and I'll be showing you the pre-contract players that we do get for the start of next season. But guys, put in the comment section down below players you'd like me to sign for next season. I don't have anyone in particular off the top of my head. Um, I think we're pretty well covered squad depth, -wise, uh, like... Position wise, we're not weak anywhere in particular, but let them know in the comments. I'm probably weakest with my goalkeeping. I'll probably want to uh, sell, probably just loan out David De Gea and then buy a new goalkeeper. But let me know for players for next season. And uh, actually, overall, let me know if you want to see season four of the Manchester United uh, career mode. But um, we do get, well, Ronaldo thought we started off the scoring against Benfica. Falcao puts him. Uh, through ball, but it was offside, and uh, it was very disappointing for Ronaldo not to pick up a goal there. But Vidal with the shot off, and we were looking really quite threatening against Benfica. But what a ball from Vidal to find Ronaldo, and Ronaldo quite comfortably... I don't know why I'm getting my words mixed up here. I've done a lot of commentaries. <laughs> but Ronaldo quite comfortably... Puts it into the bottom right to start off the scoring against Benfica. But just guys, um, to quickly recap the last episode, we ended up winning 2-1 over Real Madrid, um, putting us through to the final. Falcao and Di Maria, the two former Real Madrid players, both picked up goals against their former club. And then later on the episode, we had a match against Chelsea, winning 1-0. And it was Falcao to pick up the goal in that match. But Benfica weren't down and out for the count for this Champions League final. They managed to get one back in the form of Salvio's goal. And a solid, solid goal nonetheless. But Messi on the ball manages to beat the Benfica defender. Puts it into Ronaldo. A near post OP past Julia Cesar. Makes it 2-1 and that's his second goal in the final. And what a fantastic player Ronaldo has been. The number seven uh, back at Old Trafford and makes it 2-1 against Benfica. And that was the deciding goal to let us win the Champions League. We ended up winning 2-1. We ended up winning the Champions League for the second year in a, in a row, which was absolutely fantastic. I'm really quite gutted to see that Wolfsburg weren't in there. They had a fantastic Champions League uh, run, beating uh, Borussia Dortmund, Valencia. But that's how the table ended up. Um, Benfica actually ended up beating Barcelona, which is ridiculous to say the least, but that was a really interesting Champions League fixture. But we do have the squad here for Australia. Um, but this guy looks like a fucking boss. He's an 85 overall. He plays for Frankfurt, I do believe, in the uh, in the Bundesliga. But he's an 85 overall. He must be, he must be a glitch player. Um, he's 29 years of age, however. So I was, I was nearly thinking of picking him up. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Ruko Ave Esther. <laughs> But we do have the squad report in today's episode. Uh, Phil Jones went up a plus two this season. Fantastic. Matt Hummels went up a plus one. David Alaba is an 89 overall. He's nearly better than some of my actual midfielders because he actually can play like a left back, a left mid, a centre mid. Vidal has gone up a plus one, scoring 11 goals and six assists. Wayne Rooney hasn't gone up a plus any, which I feel he's robbed. Marco Royce has gone up a plus one. Uh, Messi as well hasn't gone up a plus any. He's 29 years of age, so he's still below 30. Scoring 28 goals in all competitions. Falcao coming back in January scored 14 goals and 14 assists going up a plus one. Ronaldo scoring 50 goals in all competitions and 28 assists as well. Adnan uh, has gone up a plus two. Nick Powell has gone up a plus two as well, along with Zaha and Shakiri. It was good to see Shakiri go up a bit, even though we did bring him on a pre-contract and didn't give him many games. Uh, Wilkes, uh, sorry, Scuffett and Smalling have gone up a little bit, but uh, that's the amount, the amount of money that we got at the end of the season by winning the Champions League, and uh, of course you can work it out after that win against Chelsea, winning 1-0, we, they were three points behind us, and uh, one goal, it was like 56-55 to 55 on goal difference, and we managed to win that match against them, so that made us win the uh, the Premier League this year. So, Guys, thank you very much for watching, if you've watched uh, all the way through this season. If you have, that's absolutely fantastic. But I just want to thank you if you've ever left a like, 
a favorite, a comment, or you have subscribed because of this series. I thank you very, very much. I wouldn't be able to make these videos and have the support of my channel uh, without you. And I really do appreciate all of it as well. Um, absolutely fantastic. But we won the league, we won the domestic cup, and we won the Champions League. We won the, the league for the third time in a row. We won the Champions League for the second, because unfortunately we didn't have it in the first season, thanks to Davy Moyes. But um, yeah, we're going to be going through some stats now. Now, a lot of players did play 38 goals uh, a game. Sorry, Ronaldo was the top goal scorer for all the club, followed by Messi, Wayne Rooney, and Falcao manages to come fourth, coming in at January as well. But guys, um, yeah, let me know if you've got your predictions right. Who did you think was going to win the um, the golden boot and get the most goals for my club? Um, Messi actually came third, which is not too bad. Addison Cavani for Manchester City came second. Um, yeah, but at any point in time, this is just a nice chilled wrap-up of the season. Um and you're most welcome to pause at any point if you're curious about a stats, red cards, clean sheets and whatnot. But yeah, guys, um, this is like the unofficial sort of voting episode as well. Let me know in the comment section down below, players, you'd like me to sign for next season. Like I said, I don't have any particular preference. Um, we're pretty good squad depth-wise. Probably David De Gea, the situation at the moment with him. But I'll get on to players in a second. Um, this is the... Uh, the leagues around the other world. Now, I was surprising to see how Wolfsburg got to the semi-finals of the Champions League, but they came fifth in the Bundesliga. I thought they would have been a lot higher up than that. Barca ended up winning the uh, the Spanish League, and uh, yeah, obviously we ended up winning the uh, the Barclays Premier League. Now we ended up winning the Community Shield, which isn't much of an achievement to be quite honest. We ended up winning the Capital, uh, the FA Cup against Norwich two 0 uh, we end up beating Newcastle 2 new and the Copa Euro and uh, the Community Shield I didn't really give two shits about. I just simulated them and it's just oh, another piece of meaningless silverware at Old Trafford. But we quite comfortably ended up winning 2-1 over Benfica and uh, Real Sociedad ended up winning 4-3 on penalties. The first 90 minutes was a 1, well the first 120 technically was a 1-1 one -one draw against uh, Tottenham Hotspur. But uh, Daily Blind has come back from his uh, loan at Valencia. But guys, back to players. Let me know in the comment section down below players you'd like me to sign for next season. Cristiano Ronaldo ended up picking up player of the season, which was without a doubt the top goal scorer was going to get it. And he scored so many hat-tricks, even though Messi... Obviously, Messi was a striker for a little bit, but then when he, we signed Falcao in January, he was pushed to a centre-forward. So he was limited in his goal-scoring ability. And uh, maybe Falcao took a lot of those goals that should have been his. But hey, what are you going to do? But guys, we are going to end the season. Also, let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to see Season 4 of the Manchester United Career Mode? I'm, I'm yeah, at the point in time, I, I think I want to do it. I'm, but it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Um, we do have a lot of um, pre-contract players coming in as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we're already going to be playing with Ronaldo, Falcao, and uh, Messi up front. And obviously, we are signing Eden Hazard, Mario Goetze, Iron Robin, and Frank Ribery on pre-contracts, which is absolutely ridiculous. But unfortunately, we started off the second season, uh, the fourth season, sorry. Oh, well, it's technically Falcao's second season. Nearly. No, it's his third, isn't it? My bad. There was no way I was going to fix up that horrible, <laughs> horrible segue. Um, but yeah, he ended up picking up an injury, which was ridiculous. Luckily, it was only nine days. But in season four of the Manchester United crew, the board wants me to win everything again, wants me to win the league win the Champions League, and win the FA Cup. But Mario Goetze, 88 overall, 25, I think he's 20, yeah, 25 years of age, absolutely fantastic player, absolutely phenomenal, and he's worth 69 million, we picked him up for free. Iron Robin is a 90 overall right mid, he is pretty old at 33 years of age, but um, we might try loan him out, see what happens, um, we would try sign him in January as well. Eden Hazard, 89 overall, 25 years of age, two fantastic new players, Frank Ribery, 87 overall, um, but he is quite old as well for 30, he's 34 years of age. But he has five-star skill moves and four-star weak foot, which is <laughs> ridiculous. So we've got those pre-contract players, also Ronaldo and Messi up front, absolutely ridiculous. But guys, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like to support this series and my channel, and I'll be bringing you more career mode out for you guys very soon. Thank you once again, and remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this video. Fucking make sure you do, guys. Thanks once again. This has been Simpsy. I'm Matt Lays, my friends. Goodbye.